Hi, myself Raj and welcome to my channel. I'm here to talk. Let's start today's episode number five of Health Talks with Mr. Shashikant Yanga, where we'll be having a conversation on the topic, are fruits healthy? Well, this video will not be against our fruit consumption or fruit sitting, but rather we'll be discussing three specific factors. Number one, the enhancers and the steroids and the hormones or the drugs that are getting used by the farmers during the production of the vegetables and fruits to enhance the overall size and the color of the fruits or to ripening the fruits fast, whether they are healthy or not. And of course, they are not healthy. They are toxic for the overall human consumption. And we really need to discuss about all these factors. And number two, the agriculture practices and the farming procedures that they basically execute, they implement during the production of all these vegetables and fruits that basically we consume on a regular basis. We think those are healthy, but how much they are healthy? And that's why you are here to discuss that our fruits and vegetables are healthy. And number three, most importantly, the fructose consumption. Well, those people, those are already obese and insulin resistant for them how much fructose consumption is healthy like we think like we are eating fruits uh, we are doing so much good for all over our health but actually uh, how much good we are actually doing how much betterment we are actually doing with our own self we really need to discuss it because fructose is another form of sugar and uh, that is why i really need to discuss about the consumption of that that how much actually good and for whom? For the people, those who are already insulin resistant. Okay, there are a lot of things uh, we need to discuss. So without wasting much time, let's start today's Health Talks episode number five with Mr. Shishkan Diangar. And really, I love to have conversation with this person specifically because there are a lot of information I always get from him whenever I start a video or whenever I start a conversation with him. So without wasting much time, because I've already yelled so much, it's already two minutes. Like, so start today's video and let's call him online. So here he is, Mr. Shashikan Diangar again, uh, and we are here with the new episode of Health Talks, episode number five. So how are you, by the way? First, yeah, thank us. you. Thank you, Shamik. Thank you for inviting me again. So this is, uh, we are interacting again for the fourth time. And I think each, uh, fifth each time, time, I guess, fifth, fifth, fifth yeah, or fourth. Fourth. <laughs> so each time you pick up some interesting topic, something which is very topical and something which the general public should be aware of. So I think this time also you have picked up something which I'm sure is going to be interesting. Yeah, so basically we'll be discussing today about fruits consumption. Well, completely it's not my against of it, but people should get a proper awareness about the like the enhancers and the drugs and steroids that are getting used by the farmers during the production of the vegetables and the fruits to enhance overall size and ripening the fruits fast to generate more cells. So tell us something about it. Means like means like the, about the enhancers and about the medicines. Those See, first of all, uh, yeah. Shomik, uh, let me start with a statement. Okay. Mm -hmm. The statement is, um, modern fruits are pesticide laden, chemically ripened and hybridized to be high in sugar. Great. So how is this statement? Great. So this is a fact which many of us do not know. And you know, uh, there's always a, a feeling that fruits are very healthy. You know, people would like to have more fruits. People will go on a fruit diet. So we will discuss in length on uh, in the coming time. And mm -hmm. you know, there is almost a there is one more uh, uh, very humorous way of thinking. Okay, so in the Garden of Eden, you know, if Adam and Eve had not eaten that fruit, okay, <laughs> they or we all would have been still in heaven, or we would not have been here. You know, and the joke goes further that if they had been Chinese, they would have eaten the snake and not the apple and you know humans whatever one or two would have been you know uh, staying very happily in the garden of eden so this is just mm. a humorous way to know a uh, couple of things one is a sad fact and one is a humor so, i really <laughs> need to uh, know i have that curiosity that whether they first had apple fruit or any kind of meat <laughs> so whatever it is what they were having we don't know but the moment they had apple you know they were mm. sent to earth so that is how it is so this is how the fruit, <laughs> the fruit thing goes um, mm. But you know, uh, Shomik, what happens is uh, in the net, uh, probably mm. you can you know uh, post this link in this video also that mm -hmm. uh, there is a difference between the ancient fruit and the modern fruit. Okay, so right. the ancient fruits are not so bulky; they were more fibrous. They had very they had lesser, far far lesser uh, sugar content in that, and um, and there were no pesticide or you know uh, synthetic fertilizers which are used. 
humans just picked up mm. whatever fruits were there and then they you know uh, at a time of scarcity or you know maybe even as an enjoyment they may have a little fruit i i seriously doubt if it is an enjoyment because if it is less sugar you know mm-hmm. so so there is less enjoyment probably the earlier hunter gatherers you know if they couldn't hunt an animal so probably to fill in the stomach mm-hmm. uh, they ate some of this fruits which were there or maybe some starchy tubers mm-hmm. roots so that's how mm-hmm. it goes mm-hmm. the other thing is Uh, they were all having seasonal fruits and something which was available locally which so is right now locally. in every season you will get every kind of fruits yeah, yeah, so, so, yeah. because we so, know some magic so, yeah <laughs> so 365 days a year we'll get the fruit and uh, and we will get it across continents also okay so right. we will have kiwi fruit coming in from uh, from hmm. kiwi land <laughs> or we'll have chinese uh, dragon, fruits, dragon fruit is available coming yeah. from dragon land okay <laughs> or will have australian apples coming in okay so australian you know, our, grapes also there yeah. are a lot of things mm. so first of all we all know that you know how this is these are all grown through chemical methods mm. and they also use some sort of preservative on this okay we don't know what kind of uh, treatment with these fruits undergo and how they are stored you know they don't rot very easily so easily and uh, we tend to think you know apples i mean all the fruits are good and then we hog on to the fruits okay? mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and the worst thing is you will hear some sometimes people say that i'm going to go i i'm now on a fruit diet so mm-hmm. entire day they'll keep eating fruits only okay so right. no doubt it's a good way to you know it is not a good way it may be mm-hmm. a one of the way to lose weight because even people, i also see people uh, is like prefer during the breakfast a lot of fruit consumption that is okay the point i'm coming to the, to this is you know people will go on a fruit diet they will lose weight and this is not a healthy way to lose weight because they will lose lean body mass because right. ultimately if they don't con- they consume protein mm. and the fat which comes along with it they are going to lose lean lean body mass they might lose a few kilo and they'll be very happy okay yeah. and in that process they are going to consume this excess sugar that's and, a basic uh, fundamental yeah. yeah and the most most of the population across the world across india also we are all insulin resistant and as it is you know Excellent. we are secreting uh, insulin in excess amount mm. our blood sugar also spikes post meal most of us are undetected and going mm. on this you know uh, going whole hog on this fruit diet again is only going to worsen this condition shall we let me tell you a story yeah uh, yeah, yeah sure sometime back you know i had one of my you know acquaintances uh, tell me that you know uh, mm. he was diagnosed as a pre diabetic mm. his hbc mm. is uh, 6.2 and i asked him what he is doing so he told us ha ha i started eating lot of fruits <laughs> so somehow you know people have you know uh, conception that fruits are very healthy it has a lot of vitamins and some are going to heal them so you know i thought i told him that you know don't go all over on fruit but then i thought that is going to hasten his progress to full blown diabetes of hbc about 6.7 or so mm. so you know this is how the sad part is so okay. but actually uh, people need this uh, proper awareness about the fructose you know, like fruits contain fructose and it's a form of sugar basically and it actually spikes up the insulin just like the other if you talk about banana and mango they contain a lot amount of sugar so people those who are actually obese and insulin resistant for them uh, how could someone think like uh, it's healthy what do you See, think what happens it? is fruit contains both glucose and fructose both and people mm-hmm. think they all healthy sugar natural sugar mm-hmm. see for the liver or the system is going to treat natural sugar or you know synthetic sugar in the same fashion same way yeah. so there is not going to make any difference insulin resistant mm-hmm. population diabetic population has to be ultra careful okay uh, i recall you know uh, some time back you know maybe uh, when i was diagnosed as a diabetic some 5 years back so mm-hmm. maybe once i just took mangoes No, I just during the mango season, I took two Alfonso mangoes, which are those medium size, not a big size. Okay. And then uh, two hour after two hours, then I checked my blood sugar was around two fifty five. So you can imagine, you know, yes. so whether I take one or two, it is going to spike above it or level level of one forty or so, which you know, yeah. if you prefer. To. The same thing happens Unwindly, if somebody is eating like white rice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. so see secondly the metabolism of fructose is something which we which most of us do not understand you know hmm. uh, fructose first of all is metabolized in the liver fructose doesn't require insulin okay it is not going to spike insulin it is going to go into the liver it is going to get metabolized into fat ultimately it is going to be stored as fat and uh, a part of fructose is also converted to glucose in one of the processes so it is also converted to glucose before it goes into the uh, liver 
and then in this and for people who have excess fructose okay excess fruit and then excess uh, high fructose corn syrup which is found in some of the soft drinks ultimately mm-hmm. you know uh, that is not only it will get converted to fat but mm-hmm. that whole uh, biochemical process also involves releasing of uric acid so many people who you know tend to have excess uric acid you know mm-hmm. fructose could be a part of problem while insulin resistance the whole pathway itself leads to increase uric acid Mm-hmm. uric acid anyone has you know it is a very solid indicator of an underlying insulin resistance diabetes or excess fructose consumption mm-hmm. and especially people who consume excess coke and all okay so they are going to find uh, excess uh, uric acid and mm-hmm. insulin resistance in general and mm-hmm. where will this fat go first of all this fat is going to get stored in your liver so this is also part of the the syndrome which leads to fatty liver disease right so fatty liver will ultimately lead to diabetes yeah. yeah so it is ultimately going to lead to diabetes so this is how the situation is and um, so sad part is you know we always think it is healthy 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 and we will take so we need to be aware see basically you know to the audience uh, see we are not totally against fruit but we should yeah. be aware you know where and how to use right. and not to go whole hog over it try right. to source some organic we'll come to this point again on the organic it's all again. about the overdo yeah. Means, uh, means yeah, and overdo. someone is healthy, insulin sensitive, and they can always have one small serving of fruit. And right. we always suggest that to have local fruits, you know, something which is grown locally, hmm. uh, rather than something which is coming across the continent. Right. Okay, so this is how the situation is. Right. And what about the enhancers and steroids and the oxytocin? Yeah, yeah. See you now, to enhance uh, the size so, of the vegetables. Yeah, yeah. So enhancers, oh. oxytocin is something which they yeah. use, and plus they must be using you know lot of other hormones, chemicals. Hmm. injectables or you know any any yeah. type of uh, chemical synthetic materials to enhance mm-hmm. so that is why you will find you know most of the modern fruits are you know big in size compared to mm-hmm. what was seen earlier mm-hmm. do they really represent a healthy uh, food i really don't know secondly there there's a big soil degradation as of now okay because of the monocropping and other uh, right. agricultural practices mm-hmm. using mm-hmm. of uh, usage of synthetic the chemicals fertilizer pesticides the whole whole vitamin content or micronutrient content itself has come down see we are referring to what is called as the nih uh, vitamin uh, content or even the usda one mm. Mm. but how are these were all you know data take which has taken decades back okay decades back where probably the soil was very rich with uh, mm. with enough micronutrients so that fruit can produce the micronutrients which we need <coughs> however you know right now, not, the situation has uh, yeah changed, situation, situation has now changed over time got changed yes exactly yeah so the hmm. let us say if some some you know some fruit has certain amount of vitamin hmm. uh, it may not be so you know now in the present context hmm. that that is there is a big issue we, we should realize that is it may not be a rich source of so many vitamins as given in in this the usda uh, web page or even mm-hmm. the, the nin uh, database so this something yeah. we should have secondly i think all of us know how modern fruits are also you know uh, they are um, uh, what is called as they are ripened okay we all know that chemicals like carbide you know they are actually used to ripen bananas they are used mm. to ripen the much loved mango okay so there is also a lot of controversy on this that uh, these chemicals can actually can be carcinogenic okay so you know <laughs> the funny thing is on one hand they will say that those who take a lot of fruits and vegetable uh, will face less cancer and on the other other hand we use lot of chemicals in this which can actually mm. be carcinogenic so you know we should be that's why you know we should be very careful about uh, what we source and maybe we should be sourcing organic uh, it's fruits. better it's better for the uh, people yeah. those who actually uh, want to buy vegetables and fruits means like it same goes for vegetables also it's better to go for the organic sources they doing couple of little so, bit of research for their own betterment so the issue is first of all you know organic fruits they get can be costly yes secondly you know if you really read mm-hmm. some of the research reports it shows that even in us mm-hmm. about 25 to 30% of this so called organic fruits you know they mm-hmm. also have mm-hmm. uh, non organic components they have also okay use some chemical fertilizers or you know some pesticides even having the some tag despite having the tag residues, of organic but, but yeah. still there is there is no guarantee even that they, they found some pesticide residue which should not have been there so you no know, life is very difficult if i will say that you know all fruit, all food we take whether it is plant food or animal food mm. okay 
you know, all are you know all are actually contaminated with these pesticides. Let me tell you, sir, none of the none of us can escape anything. It is very difficult to get something pure mm. unless we grow in our own backyard, in our own home. Uh, right. People, if they have access to it, of course, people living in cities will have no access to such facilities. But then it is very difficult. But in these circumstances, you know, our point is only that you know we should be aware. and we should not fall for this as much as possible yeah we should not fall for the statement that you know they are healthy mm. healthy and going go log over it so this is mm. this is the whole crux of this program right it's really means like uh, whatever you said it's completely right that uh, living in the city it's not possible to get always pure organic sources means like as you said in the us despite having the organic tag uh, means like after doing research a lot of pesticides residues you know uh, basically they're getting used after the tag of organic too that is what is happening so basically what do you means like say what are the what is a basic solution or uh, for the people those who actually love to consume fruits and vegetables on a regular basis means yes this is true a basic awareness should be there and overall diet as they prefer a balanced diet maximum maximum people so what could be a better solution for them see uh, the balanced diet is something you know which is something of a joke actually okay the balanced diet is highly imbalanced i will say okay it is totally you know uh, skewed towards excess carbohydrate mm. and uh, which you know which that is how that's not how humans are come up okay we require adequate fat protein or protein fat so there is a mm. single term for this fatty protein you know have you know little more fatty protein mm -hmm. and, uh, cut down on this carbohydrate so see personally as a as a diabetic Uh, on ketogenic diet for the last almost five years, so I don't take any fruits. Okay, mm -hmm. but yeah, okay. I take a so different you, type of. Yeah. You do not eat like fruits. This conventional fruit. Personally, you prefer that. Not the conventional fruit, but I take a. I take what is called as these are all botanically called fruits. Okay, uh, they are the red and yellow bell pepper. Okay, okay. the tomatoes. They are also fruits mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. And okay, mm -hmm. the other fruit which I take is I take avocado. Okay. and something which is also you know avocado is now grown in india also so i i, I take this though it is not from my state but it is still okay it contains you know totally it contains mufa or mono unsaturated mm -hmm. fatty acid lot of fiber lot of potassium actually which we require in low carb diet so i take this and you know we can have some of this berries you know berries are something which berries, is yeah. so there yeah, is no yeah. strawberry raspberry yeah. or blueberry blackberry okay. blueberries yeah yeah so mm -hmm. which are, which is sourced locally if it is possible mm. um, at least from here okay we might get little imported blueberries people to take but just ensure that we wash it enough uh, right. and then maybe you know small quantity once in a while is okay so personally mm. i don't i take this berries only once in a while so it is not daily mm. for me and, uh, we should treat i strongly believe that we should treat fruit as an enjoyment okay as a dessert rather than something as a healthy stuff mm. now coming to vitamin now people will say that you know fruit contains a lot of vitamins right right uh, we will miss uh, taking this vitamin but let me tell you that all these vitamins are there even in non starchy vegetables okay so it's good uh, we can take a good amount of 3 to 4 servings of non starchy vegetable i'll say that 3 to 4 kind of vegetables in a day if, if indian population you know, we are very fond of fruit fruits and vegetables mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if we can take three different kind of vegetables every day and i'm sure we will be getting adequate adequate amount of vitamin and uh, the other biggest uh, so this uh, discussion or argument will be how we'll get vitamin c okay mm -hmm. oranges are good source of vitamin c right. so let me say go and take a simple lemon okay mm -hmm. lemon will give good amount of vitamin c bell peppers and our indian gooseberry mm -hmm. they are also good source of vitamin c mm -hmm. so lemons are of course available throughout the year okay so we, uh, it, it, the cost may vary depending upon season but it's a good source mm -hmm. of vitamin c Depending and people also prefer like post uh, pre workout banana post workout banana to store the uh, glucose and they prefer it like contains a lot of glucose miss i think see, you also observe all these things yeah see so me kaise hai ke see if people are people like you and me we are burning fat okay so we don't need all this uh, pre pre exercise glucose <laughs> load which they do okay but mm -hmm. uh, the other population generally those who are burning glucose mm -hmm. you know so if they don't have a glucose load uh, before mm. the exercise so they are going to probably face you know little weakness uh, they will not have adequate uh, energy enough to uh, pump in so that is how they do and i i really wish that you know uh, most of the everyone should be you know shifting mm. to this fatty protein diet and if we do it in fasted state 
we will actually be utilizing all this body fat which we which is stored mm. uh, which will give us adequate energy so personally i know that you know many of us you know even when i do this home exercises or you mm. know even many of you who are on a, a low carb diet most mm. of us we just take some black coffee you know black coffee yeah. is a lipolyzer it will release free fatty acid and then we'll use this free fatty acid during the exercise so this is how it goes i think the other mm. point which you touched on it is the fruit juices again okay yeah really so that's again, interesting yeah True. you will feel find that you know uh, fruit juices different type of juices being sold across which is being touted as something healthy people will say packaged. it is yeah packaged Packed one fruit juices yeah and then they will say that you know this is this is sugar free also they will say okay yeah, yeah. they don't add sugar no doubt but just imagine how much how much of fruit actually goes into it in fact along with this coke and all this sugary beverages fruit juices has have also been implicated in development of fatty liver disease because of the excess glucose fructose which we consume through mm. fruit juice now what mm. happens is if you take one if you take an orange how many you will take you will take one you will take two like, not more than yeah. this maximum we will take only one maximum yeah. one apple will take Right. but what goes into juice fruit juice what is, exactly. okay it will mm. go uh, a glass of orange juice you know maybe people will consume three or four or even five mm. glasses i don't know mm. Mm. okay some three or four three or four oranges will go and this will be quick acting carbohydrates okay because they are actually, actually having the conception they are having a healthy drink yeah, yeah because it's it's actually fruit so they are going to release insulin massively mm. and uh, mm. immediately your body will try to you know liberate the blood glucose uh from the, the glucose from the blood immediately it will throw it into your the system as fat okay right. some amount will right. be used as energy rest will go into adipocytes and if they are filled in mm. then they'll mm. go into liver they'll go into the visceral mm. fat so mm. if you so want this message is specifically for yeah. the people of of india because where the rate of obesity is so much and we are so much right now aware of our overall body fat so like thinking about fruit juices in the breakfast it's like a horrible thing see what what they say as it is the breakfast is high carbohydrate okay huh. they will have some let us say paratha corn flakes mm-hmm. okay right. and uh, already corn, having a lot yeah, amount of carbohydrate yeah. already and to top it with fruit juice is going to be in a disaster adding a cherry on the cake <laughs> yeah so uh, so i think we should we should we should we should be very aware of this and we should actually avoid according to me we should avoid all this fruit juices if people want they can as well take one orange they can yeah. actually take one small the real source size. means like yeah uh it's like for the natural real source from organic source rather than just uh, depending on the packed fruit juices and these juices actually are devoid of this fiber which will actually slow the absorption so that is the advantage when we take the whole fruit compared to the mm. the packaged mm-hmm. one or the juices the whole fiber is just thrown away and then you know it is released just rapidly so we are not designed to handle this rapid release of sugar <coughs> so maybe you know if people want they can as well go and take one orange or one apple or one mm-hmm. more you know, post meal uh, if they want and you know this is not going to you know spike anything very significantly mm-hmm. you know the and chromic as you touch you know many people tend to have a fruit platter or something in breakfast you know let me tell you that ideal breakfast something which is very high in protein you know something mm-hmm. which is high in protein fat and then if people want they can they can as well go and have a small serving of fruit i don't mind mm-hmm. of course personally i don't take and personally i don't suggest this to any of the any of the diabetics okay so but you know others can as well if they want they can go they can source a good quality organic food at least this will reduce if not zero it will at least exactly. reduce the and and before using yeah. those means like if they are purchasing from local stores it's better to uh, wash it up properly by using salty water and warm water to you know to get rid of the you know residues pesticide residues everything it's better it's like before consuming before cooking all those things try to source everything locally is what i say okay mm-hmm. so you know try to go maximum for local fruits and that to seasonal and if you see in the you see in the ancient time the humans have eaten only seasonal fruits they were not mm-hmm. having fruits throughout the year sorry throughout the year it is only that season maybe two or three months they will have so let mm-hmm. us say in your backyard if you have goa growing so that is your seasonal fruit and that will go for only two to three months max four months right. okay and then we so from where i stay you know uh, i don't have apples growing here apples are coming from kashmir or himachal so mm. they are even essentially they are not local but then it's right. okay if people want they can take but then mm. keep it very small yeah it's better to have a proper it. awareness about how about the consumption yeah. rate and as well they should prefer organic sources by doing own research for their own betterment 
avoid the uh, you know uh, local stores because as you said right, there are a lot of things that are getting used to enhance and to ripening the fruits and also to uh, you know make it available 365 days because as you said the seasonal fruits are seasonal fruits then why they are available 365 days it's it's as simple as that so i think you know uh, so yeah. people should give a very serious thought to this you know uh, yeah. take an informed decision this decision has to be informed they should know that what i'm taking is so and so and uh, you know it is going to raise my blood sugar it is going to affect me in this way hmm. and then if they do is okay i mean there's an informed decision if people want to mess up with their health yeah. it is okay i mean people yeah. should not be doing this you know unknowingly so our message right. shomik is only to spread this message that you know you should be aware of what is what and then please take decision accordingly correct correct people those who are actually obese and insulin resistant for them it's really important to have some real awareness about the consumption and also from the uh, trusted sources like uh, the organic sources and those people if you, if they really want to have it they can but by having a proper information like how you know, much finally one more uh, show me before i forget you know uh, it is not again you know if we are out somewhere we are hungry and then yeah. rather than you know jumping into samosa or kachori <laughs> or you know any of the fried stuff vada yeah. you know i would prefer yeah. that you know people can find some fruit if they can take it is okay i mean mm. it is only a relatively harmless one okay that is how i see it is relatively better much better mm. personally if i want something then i will look out for some peanuts or chana so that's how yeah yeah so, so that is what how. i do also yeah. it's like if i'm outside i i opt for peanuts and even if it's packed yeah. also right yeah. that's doesn't better matter. so it is yeah. any time better than the samosa kachori which you have which is again you know mm-hmm. because we already oil, have yeah. covered these uh, yeah. topics like also, cooking yeah. oils and the yeah, yeah. Um, you know so that's how high so carb oil consumption tips. yeah so i thought you know before i forget i should mention this yeah show me <laughs> yeah so it, it was really a, a nice short conversation with you means like it was not kind of so much kind of completely biased like fruits are not healthy at all but it's all about having a proper awareness about the consumption of fruits and how they are getting you know produced and about the agricultural practices and what they are using basically to make it in mass uh, you know uh, production or what should i say means like to make it more attractive for the people the color and the ripening style and the sizes of the fruits and vegetables right now which are happening nowadays to uh, sell it in a more attractive way to the people so it's better to do your own research uh, take care of your own health before eating this and uh, have some real information have some proper awareness about the consumption rate of fruits on daily basis if you are actually doing it Yeah, show me. There's one more point which I remembered, which we forgot to cover yeah. in the beginning. So you know, okay. uh, where did this concept of you know fruits and vegetables are healthy have come from? Okay, so no one knows where it has come from. Probably some epidemiological epidemiological studies have actually shown that you know people who consume these are more healthy. It doesn't mean that these are healthy. It just means probably there is a what is called as a healthy user bias. Probably the people who consume more of fruits vegetables are you know are those who avoid junk food and mm-hmm. those who have a better lifestyle. they mm. must be exercising well so there's a healthy user bias probably associated with this so that is how it comes and you know uh, uh, that's so it it is not that consuming these would lead to health i will say that for me consuming fat protein is something which will lead to health however mm. okay so we have to understand from where this actually this bias comes from okay so mm-hmm. it is probably from the studies which has a healthy user bias which has probably not been addressed to so, Thank you, thank you, thank you, Shomik. So this it's, is the final point yeah, I wanted to have. Yeah, most lastly, the statement that you just provided it, it's necessary for the healthy users. Wise, means people need to understand this particular, this specific factor. The healthy factor means those who are actually highly active, and uh, if you talk about the people, those who are actually sedentary, completely not having proper awareness, already having high amount of carbohydrates, which are, they are not utilizing, and they are getting stored basically in the form of fat. and uh, on the top if they are having a lot of on fruits that will actually harm rather than doing some betterment that's true but once again it's really a nice conversation with you as usual means whenever i talk with you i really get a lot of information and always people also get a lot of good information from your side all the time thank you thank you shamik thank you thank you once again for joining us
Well, there are a lot of things I really didn't know about fruits and vegetables, but right now I know. So make sure you're hitting the like button because I believe that same thing is happening with you also. Same thing you are also thinking right now. So you need to do your own duty like by sharing this video as much as possible because people need to know about all this information that he has provided or we have provided through this conversation. So make sure you're sharing this video and hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't and make sure you're taking care of yourself. It's time to sign off. This is Raj. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Stay fit, stay run. Be fit with Raj. Bye.